Okay, people, welcome back to another Foosh Overview. Today, let's take a quick look at the Jaded Toy Street Fighter 2 Ultra, the final challengers Ryu and Fei Long. Round one. Fight! And yeah, 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 I am not the biggest fan of fighting games. My biggest nostalgia twinge when it comes to Street Fighter is sitting behind my friends while they were playing just talking shit. Oh, you should have done that. He's gonna get you. He's gonna get you. You suck. But that was hiding my shame of not being very good at the games. Anyway, I am a huge fan of action figures and I am a fan of Jada Toys. After their Universal Monsters line, I knew I'd have to lay hands upon this. So special thanks to them for sending out some early samples so I can take them for a test drive. Looking at the packages, there is no mistaking that these are from a video game. You have the health meters up top. The shape of the package itself is like an arcade game. You remember arcades, right? Graphic right here for with the joysticks and the buttons, two player. And then at the bottom is the artwork from the game, I believe. It seems like I remember those from somewhere. On the side, I am not sure if this was the actual graphic on the side of the arcade machine, but it looks like it could be, so I'm going with that. On the back, you have the characters in Wave 1. We haven't seen Chun-Li in actual plastic yet. And then down here, hopefully they're going to run the whole roster. On the other side, um, more characters, like on the side of the game. On top, there's a little window to have some light shining down into the package. On bottom, your legalese, your barcodes. Let's get these open, see what's going on here. And yeah, I stepped back for some dramatic reason. Let's open the packages! And I'm guessing... You just cut the tape on the bottom and it... F oh, yup, that's how you open cardboard packages. And then the plastic shell. Oh, all kinds of tape. And the way it comes out of the package, this is taped together here, automatic background. And it's going to be hard to convey just how smooth this is right out of the package. You know, sometimes you open something up and you have to crack things loose and get things moving. Here... No, I mean, it just goes right into wanting to pose. It wants to get into stances. Yeah, there's some clickiness to the joints, but that just holds it into place. It just wants to get in there and get action-y. Now, I can't tell you the differences game to game when it comes to designs and shapes and everything else. I'm just going to say... This is one hell of a sculpt. He's got muscle striations and correct anatomy and coming down to some veins running on the biceps and arms. His gloves have a nice little texture to it and that texture doesn't match what we see on the gi. Give you a microscope shot there. And the nifty thing about that, it's on this very soft material but it matches up exactly with the harder plastic of the legs, running all the way down to the torn look at the end. And we have the feet down at the bottom of the legs, like we usually see with human type shapes. Then up at the head, you have the face. <laughs> Again, like you see on most heads. It always throws me off when I see the eyebrows going up over the headband. Got a very nice hair sculpt hanging down over the headband. On the back is the ties for that. Very soft material. There is some slight shading to the deeper crevices running down inside the muscles. And more than that, you can see a little darkness here on the pants. They threw some gray shading in there. It's down here and it runs up right here and right here. Just to add a little bit more flair. I don't know what this says, but it's applied nicely. And there may be some slight bleed in places. You can see the red going up on the skin tone there. But normal distance on the shelf in your hands away from the micro lens. Yeah, you can hardly see it. I talked about the ties on the back being super soft. The torso overlay is the same material. Oh, I was about to say, I wonder if this came off. The belt is a separate piece. And then, oh, okay, it is removable. When Ryu wants to get down and dirty at the Street Fighter event. So there's a good look at the torso without the gi over it and has shading on the back. You can see the butterflies right there, the torso joint. And then look at this, <whistles> other toy companies. Let's take a page out of Jada's book here and use this for all kinds of capes and torso overlays and things that go in places that need to move around a lot. Yeah. And before we get into articulation, let's see how far this will crank. Oh, the ball joint at the bottom does a lot of the work, but there's also some crunch at the mid torso. That's going to give us this and some of this. And then the range of the butterfly joint. Holy moly. I don't know if he's shirtless in the game. So for articulation rundown, we're going to put this back on and see if this restricts any. This is what I'm worried about though. Will it just pop up? Yep. 
not a big deal at all. So for articulation, there is a dumbbell joint at the top of the neck with a ball down at the bottom. And look up, looks down. So much tilt, I love it. Side to side. Butterfly joint, oh, I should have known. Look how far that's ripped open. That gi is not getting in the way at all. Full range, back, forth. Pin coming out to the shoulder, rotates all the way around with a hinge that goes up to here. Bicep swivel, double elbow goes, oh most of the way even with the muscle and him looking cocky in this direction that was a total accident it just wants to pose itself perfect ko there's a swivel and a hinge like i said in the torso there's a dumbbell joint mid torso ball down at the bottom and oh man that overlay is not going to get in the way at all you get all over the place ball coming out to the hips allow for this this and this is the big better than most spider-mans swivel at the thigh double knee it's thick pants so He's not going to be able to kick his own ass, but look at that. Swivel up inside the pants leg so the foot rotates. Hinge at the ankle goes back and forward, and then forward facing pin for rocker. For accessories, like I showed, the head pops off, and there is this alternate head with angry Ryu. Get out of my ring. For hands, there's obviously two fists. Those pop right out and then there are these hands and i guess that goes with the bloomin onion or is this a hadouken it took me a minute to realize there are hands sculpted inside of this that along with the translucent blue material that kind of fades from lighter to darker oh it's beautiful but since it's a big old hunk of plastic it comes with its own flight stand and you got oh i found it quicker than i thought i would i went to do this pose and i noticed i think the detents are so heavy that I can't get the hinge to move. And on the other one, it's actually the plastic of the hand coming up and around the peg, so there's nothing to move. You can kind of fake it with the angle, but yeah. Hmm, I may have to break out some scalpels and see what I can do there. Otherwise, everything else works. I mean, good grief. High kicks are not a problem. The gi does like to kick up at the shoulders a bit whenever it's pushed from the legs, you know, physics, but it doesn't look bad. It hovers just slightly. <sighs> With this being a swivel here, you can turn it sideways bring the foot around and super tilt it. It's just fun to find poses, but also nails a kick-ass neutral stance. Then we'll crack open Fei Long, and I'm experienced now. You just open the flap, pull out the contents, slice this tape, and everything comes out, and there's your background again. Very colorful. It's kind of pretty, huh? And here it is hard not to say the same things I just said about Ryu. The sculpt, the paints, the articulation, the presence just everything. I've seen some people commenting that it's the same torso and it's not. Ryu is much thicker. And even though I took this overlay off, I didn't realize it till now because it's just out in the open here that the crotch piece is also a rubber overlay, but it's thicker. It's not as soft. So that helps with getting out of the way of articulation. It's the same here. It's essentially a Y joint in the middle. Isn't it? Uh, well, it comes down to the hip balls up to the ball at the waist but because of that soft material, look at that. No, not my wrist popping. That, look at that. It even has a cutout to go as far as possible. Again, with the muscle sculpt, it is so defined, slightly realistic, but then, you know, you have the Street Fighter look in places. And again, with the shading, just to bring out the sculpted details. The pants are dark and there is a texture you can see the lines running up and down but it's a little more lost they didn't do any shading here because it's black plastic but look at the wrinkle sculpt so nice and the bagginess captured comes down to a cuff at the ankle shoes are the same color with a yellow sole not all the way across the bottom but enough and then a creamish tannish white color at the head again capturing the character nicely i guess the eyebrow thing is a street fighter staple no nonsense he's just jumping in kicking ass give you a look at the back and again there's all that shade work and i love that it's subtle you have to get right up on it to realize it's another paint app it blends into the skin tone color of the plastic very nicely this is what you're all here for right ba boom same details on the back I, I don't know what else to say here it's just a beautifully rendered action figure articulation the same as reuse there is a dumbbell joint up at the top with a ball down at the bottom of the neck looks up down tilt looks left and right butterfly joint goes forward and back and there may be less cut out here just because it's visible it's out in the open there's nothing hiding it oh no i'm full of shit in fact there may be just slightly more cut out on fei long it's one of those cases that if you want to fully utilize it 
got to kind of get the arm turned to go into it. But it's got back for days. Pin coming out to the shoulder, rotates all the way around with a hinge that comes up to here. Swivel at the bicep, double elbow all the way. Swivel at the wrist with a hinge. Dumbbell at the mid torso, ball at the bottom. I already crunched a cold this, but it's so impressive. I got to do it again. All kinds of arc back. And look at the tilt. We're just going to do this for the rest of the video. Tilt, 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 tilt. Rotation. Ball coming out to the hip, comes up to... If you keep pushing, it'll keep going. Back, out, and that's exactly what we're looking for with a Street Fighter figure. Swivel at the thigh, double knee. I haven't tried this yet, but oh, 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 bing. Swivel at the cuff right there. Hinge at the ankle goes back, forward, front facing pin for rocker. And again, if you really, really want to, you can turn here and get super tilt. For accessories, again, the head pops off and you get a more angry phalong. Same great detail, just a little bit more exerting force and then of course there's two fists for hitting in your street fight then there's these for some signature fei long stances and the hinges do work on these i'm thinking that ryu alternate hand situation is kind of just him and then for his effect piece he's got the old fire leg difference here is this is hollow so it's made of a softer material because it needs to slip down over his leg that is damn impressive and it's even more impressive like this whoa that is amazing how about some of that no i'm not googling fei long poses obviously does some classic high kick or just some one inch punch okay i am googling fei long poses and i'm surprised at how useful these hands are i thought they'd show up a couple of times but no a lot of these images uses this as his posing hands i'm thinking we need some marvel versus capcom jada figures ryu is definitely thicker but both stand the same height about six and a sixteenth inches tall again i don't have a lot of street fighter figures but i do have the soda toys sagat and blanca i'm not sure what the size differences is supposed to be but this looks okay and for some reason i also have the bandai sh figure arts kin and the size is pretty good here too and then here's my standard comparison with the Hasbro Marvel Legends Vulcan and the Star Wars Black Series updated Stormtrooper. I may need a couple more of these for custom fodder. So at the end of the day, again, I'm not a big Street Fighter fan, but Ooh. that's all I can say. Ooh. Now I say not a fan of Street Fighter. I have a certain connection to the game and to the characters. There's a certain point in my history that I can go back to that involves this game, hanging out with friends, just having a good time. So in that aspect, yeah, I kind of like having plastic representations of those characters. It's why I've got a couple here and there, but not full collections. With this, oh man, these are good. Yeah, Ryu's extra hands are kind of a shame. And again, I'm going to try to work on those. But everything else is fantastic. You can feel the love put into them. And that's really where it's at, right? I mean good toys are good toys so yeah i may be in on this line because i needed another line to buy so dang it because look at that again impressive 